and service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, Monday. Now, in case you're interested in reading something of the literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523. Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you for your child. We will now select from the Holy Temple Singing Radio Choir, dedicated to our radio listeners entirely. Jesus is on the main line. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7 30 p.m. Sunday noon. Now, in case you're interested in reading something of the literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip 10457. 
It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located in Boston, New York City, 2075 Benton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Seer, Bishop Nevin Samuel Sissy. Washington, D.C., 2635 Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. Bishop Nevin Samuel Pastor, Minister Clement, Norwalk Sister. Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elkin Shore on the corner, Capitol Cell and Elkin Street. Elder Lee Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock, Sister. Laws of Virginia, Route 17, near the White Mart Shopping Center. Elder Robert Green, in charge of Minister Ernest Page, assistant. Elder Green, North Carolina, 10362, along the road. Near the Lane Cross Road, Elder Samuel Wilder, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48 North Center Street. Bishop Green, Pastor. Columbia, South Carolina, 1500 North Main Street. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor. Bishop Randy Mack, assistant. Yamasee, yeah, South Carolina, number two, Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yamasee Business District, Bishop Willie Beach Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 703 Wortley Road. Bishop Curtis Ford Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wilkes Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Alma and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston Pastor. Calvin of Florida, 2385. Contra Drive Bishop Green, Pastor. Active Deacon Charles Jones and Chuck. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddystone Avenue, Unit 23. Located near Jane Lynch, Bishop Paul Noah, Pastor. Not this time, it is my pleasure to present to you from the <coughs> Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next course here, Bishop Melvin Sapphire. You can make me doubt him. You can make me doubt him.
praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor, all that we can render to God Almighty. He is worthy of it all. Yeah. And truly, we want to thank God. We want to praise God from the depths of our heart Amen. for all that he has done for us and that which he's still going to do. Yes. We do on our very own beloved Bishop and the Pastor, Bishop Melton Green. Amen. Thank you for our ways. For him, allow me this privilege. Come before you all to fill it in his stead to declare God one and only true plan of salvation. We have no doubt in our heart it's going to be just like God said. Right. And God, I believe, just as the song say, when a man or a woman that receive God's word and don't set to his or her seal, that God's word is true. Oh, yes. Ain't no power going to come along right. and make you doubt God. My God, when a man or a woman don't believe this gospel and don't set to the seal yes. that God's word is true, yeah. they know I don't care what come along. It can't make you doubt God. Yeah. I God, you know, it's a blessing to have faith in God. Yeah. And say, no power going to come along and cause you to doubt God. Uh, in Luke chapter 1, Luke 1 and verse 1, yes. my God, don't tell me you can't be sure. You know you can be sure. Don't tell me you can't be sure about your salvation. You better be sure. You can be sure. Paul was so sure till Paul said there is not another. My God, you can be sure. You don't want to be carrying away with every wind of doctrine come along. You can be sure. And you know the next thing people don't like when you become sure. My God, they want to confuse your mind. But get me in the book of Luke chapter 1 and verse 1. Well, as much as we have taken in hand, Many have taken in hand to set forth in order to set forth in order the declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us. God does not say everybody gonna believe it, but among us, yes, among us, even as they believe them among us, among us, the true worshiper, Amen. worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Among us, among us. Which are more surely believe among us. My God is a blessing to come across a true worship. We all gonna speak the same thing. Amen. Among us, even as they deliver them unto us, deliver them unto us, which from the beginning, from the beginning, were eyewitnesses, read on, and minister of the word. Minister of the word. It seemed good to me also. I God, you know, this This God proceeds good to every believer. Okay? Yes, God, you yes. know, when your understanding open, Lord that's God. why I can stand flat foot. And I'm not boasting. Mm -hmm. No, my understanding is open to let me know it's not an hour. It seems good. To me also. It also <laughs> seems good to every believer, every child of God. To me also. Yes, it seems good to me also having that perfect understanding. Perfect. You understand. Can, you can get a perfect understanding. Perfect understanding. Yes, of all things from the very first. From the very first. So right unto the end, order more excellent. Oh, they were writing. Most excellent. Theophilus. Theophilus. That thou mightst know the certainties of all things. God, let me tell you, don't go around here uncertain. You've got to be certain about your salvation. 
My God, I tell you, creation, I'm certain. I'm certain. I, God, I don't care where I go. I don't look for nothing else. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, and we all got to line up and speak the same thing. You know it's a blessing to be certain. Amen. If you following somebody that's not certain, you get you in big trouble. Uh, go places and I ask them, oh, how did you get this? Uh, he said, well, I think you you go around here. He said, wait a minute. Let me wait a minute. Um, I said, he ain't certain. <laughs> then I come across the next man. He said, make a right, make a left, make. I said, that man talk like he's certain. Right. You can't go with everybody who's not certain. Make sure. Uh, you better get me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. Paul is saying, not as I'm certain, or as one that beat at the air. Yes. My God, when you're uncertain, you, you go to everything. You try to let everything come along. You say, let me check it out. But when you're certain, you say like the Apostle Paul is not a man. Don't tell me you can't be certain. Read on what he says, sir. First Corinthians. Uh, 9 and 24. Yes. <laughs> I hate to come across people that's not certain. Amen. You know, you have to, especially when they call themselves saved yes. and ride among us and running around uncertain. Listen what the word of God said. Know ye not. Know ye not. They which run in a race. They which run in a race. Run all. My God, everybody running. Yeah. Read on. But one received the prize. What did you say, Paul? One received the prize. One received at the prize. So run ye. So. So run. So run. Yes. Read on. Go on. Keep. But so you know. one receiveth the price. Yes. So run. So run. That you may obtain. My God, make sure. That's why he said, make your calling. Yes. Peter said, make your yes. calling yes. and election sure. Make it sure, the love. So run. That you may obtain. What did you say, Paul? That you may so obtain. So that you may obtain. Read on. And every man that strive for the man. Hallelujah. Read on. In all things. Read on. Now they do to obtain a corruptible crime. Read on. But we in incorruptible. Incorruptible. I therefore so run. That's what I want. I. I. You got to put me at number one. Yeah. My God make your calling. Yeah. And you know everybody may run in, run in and make a fear show in the flesh. Oh, but yes. I. I therefore so I. That's why it says, save who? Yourself. Save I. Save number one. Right. I. I therefore so run. Right. God, I'm out here on this word. Right. I therefore so run. Not as uncertain. Do you hear what the man of God said? Not as uncertain. Not as I'm, that's a man you can follow. I see why he said, Follow me as I follow Christ. Yeah, exactly. Why, Paul? Because you're not uncertain. You can't follow everything running and uncertain. Yeah. I therefore surround. I uncertain. My God, don't go through here uncertain. Amen. My God, you got to be sure when you stand before God. Yeah. Lord, Elijah was uncertain. Elijah tell God, Lord, I done it. How? I call into thy word. Oh, Hear me God. now. Oh, you know when you do it according to God's word, you can look for results. My God, I'm not running. I'm certain. My God, don't go through here. I'm certain. You know. Make your calling and election sure. Read on. I therefore so run. I therefore so run. And it's uncertain. My God, the man of God say you're not running uncertain. So fight. So fight. My God, he say fight. He say I fought a good fight. Yes. I've kept the faith. Yes. So fight. Ah. That's one that beat it to 
man, hey, I ain't beating the air. My God, I don't want, he said, not as one that beat at the air. But I keep under my body. Keep under my body. And bring it unto the Oh, bring it on down with the word of God. You got everything that rise up, not according to the word of God. You see, I got to bring it on down. I got to beat it on down. What's the matter for? I'm finding another law. Warren! Sometimes people look at everybody else in my mind and looking at everybody, but they forget number one. Read on! Keep under my body. Keep this thing under. I can't do this. I can't do that. I gotta keep it under my body. God, no flesh want to rise up, but you gotta beat it down with the word of God. Keep it hand down. Bring it Hold the word of God on it. Hold the word of God on it. Say, I got to be holy because God is a holy God. Be thou holy, for I am holy. I got to keep this thing hand down. This thing trying to get away. But I got to bring it hand down. I got to bring it hand down. I got to, got to bring it hand down. You're trying to get away, but I got to bring it hand down. I got to think of it by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I got to use the word of God and bring this thing under. Read on. I keep under my body. Keep under my body. My body. And bring it unto suggestion. You know you got to bring this thing under subjection. You know it want to rise up. You don't know this thing want to rise up. That's why I say examine yourself. You, if you don't keep it under, it's going to pull you under. You better get me in the book of Galatians, chapter 5 and, uh, and verse 16. So keep on. This thing want to rise up. So Paul may name it out. Now, this I say down. God is a thin line between the spirit and the flesh. My God, this thing want to rise up. But the man of God said, this I say, Dad. Walk in the spirit. My God, you got to walk in the spirit. And you should have to feel Hallelujah. My God, something in this flesh. That's why it's in me that is in my flesh. Well, no good thing. Ain't nothing good in this thing. You got to put the word of God on it. That's in my flesh. Yeah. Read on. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. Oh my God, you're in something. It's a very contrary kind of thing. Flesh lusts against the spirit. Lusts it against the spirit. Against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And the spirit against the flesh. Against the flesh. These are contrary one to another. Me. Yes. It's a very contrary thing. That's why I got this a war going on. I got to fight. It's a war saying you got to rustle this thing down. My God is something in this thing here that is very contrary. Read on. These are contrary one to another. one to another. So that you cannot do the thing that you will. So many things the flesh want to do. You got to tell you got to put the life. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, the, 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 the just chances they can. Do you hear what they say? I cannot. I cannot. I do the things that you will. I cannot. Hallelujah. Let's want you to do it. But he said, I cannot. I not. He said, in order for me not to do it, this I say that. Walk in the spirit. You got to walk in the spirit. I cannot I think that he will. So he will. many things this flesh want to do. Yes, Read on. But if you are led of the spirit, yes, God, you got to be led of the yes, spirit. Yes. Yes. Read on. You are not under the law. Right? Read on. Now the work of the flesh are many. Oh, oh, yes. That's why you got to hold the word of this old flesh. It's mighty flesh. Which are these? these? Adultery. Adultery is in the flesh. Fornication is in us. Everything that's unclean. Last sentence. Last sentence. Adultery. Adultery. Adul 
Bible says, which nation God, you go back hating people. After you don't get delivered, you find yourself gone back to hating people. I delight 
in the law. In the law of God. Of the inward man. Of that inward man. I see another law in my memory. What? I see another law in my memory. He never put it on Alexander and all the rest. He said Alexander, they got a sin it. Yes. They didn't know much evil. Praise but he said, I'm going to let God reward him. Yeah. But I see another law. In my name. I ain't going to fuss with Alexander. You know what they say? Evil man and seducer. They're going to wax worse and worse. Deceiving and been deceived. Don't worry about them. Turn it in the hands of the law. My God, you see, I'm not going to worry about Alexander. I'm going to worry about this thing That's that I'm in. I got to bring it under subjection. I got to make the kingdom a Captivity. 
What did he say? He got to put on down put strong on down hope. Strong I hope. don't care what it is. You better put it on down. Right. And in the spirit, I put it on down. Put it on down. Strong hope. Put it down. Say, you're not powerless. Yeah, I got to put it on down. Strong hope. I don't care how strong it is. You can put it on down. A brother can put it on down. A sister can put it on down. He said, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Put it on down. Strongholds. Imagination. I can start to give your imagination. Even talk. But you got to put it on down. Imagination. In every heart. Every high thing. Everything that go up against God. We got to put it on down. Yes. Against the knowledge of God. And everything that go against the knowledge of God. And bring it to captivity. We gotta bring it on down into captivity. And every thought to your obedience oh, yeah. Every thought. Your we gotta put it on down. Everything that's not of God. Exactly. Hallelujah. Exactly. You know you need a spirit. That's why I say, I right, got you, you need, you got to walk in the spirit. I right. right, got the flesh ain't going to do it, but the spirit will make you examine yourself. The spirit will make you tell yourself, I can't do this. I right, got why? Because I'm serving a God. He know my thought of far off. We better get to Hebrews 4 and 12. Why do you say this? Chapter 4 and verse 12. Read on. My God, my God. You got to put it on down. You can put it on down below. Right. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick. It's yes. quick and powerful. Oh, yes. yes. That's why Paul oh, yes. charged him as he preached the word. Yes. Don't worry about what this one do. Just preach the word. The word of God is quick and powerful. The word will reach you sitting in the seat. Over a foreign country, the word gonna reach you. The word of oh God is quick. God is quick and powerful. It is powerful. Sharper than any sharp. Sharper than any two and two edged soul. Piercing even the divine and thunder. Realize the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And of the joint. And of the joint. And now marrow. And is the discern of the thought. That's yeah. what I want. The spirit can reach you. He know what you think. Your thoughts are far off. That's it, Bishop. You say, who tell him? Who tell him? He know your thought is a discern of the thought. That's an intent of the heart. He know what you intend to do before you do. You don't come prepare and conspire. How are you going to do it? But God already know. Yes, he, does. he know what the old man and he know what's in man. Read on. Yes, and a discerner of the thought. He is a discerner of the thought. And the intent of the heart. What you intend to do, God don't pick it up. Yes. Like a priest, he pick up a hide, a white cherub, and tell his wife, go disguise yourself. Don't make it to be known that that you 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 my wife. My God, my pretend to be the wife of another. But when he we went to, to Ahijah, Ahijah was blind, couldn't see. Sight don't stop God from working. I don't have time to read it, but you can read it for yourself. In 1 Kings 14 and 1. But when he reached to Ahijah, to, to Ahijah going to Ahijah with what Jeroboam, his, uh, his husband, gave her. And she going on, but God, the Spirit of God, is quick. It's powerful. powerful. It's sharper than any two. So the spirit of God ran ahead at your heart and wife and went to Ahijah. He was blind. He couldn't see. That's but right. he said, hey, the wife at your heart is coming to you. And he coming to ask a thing. Behold, she disguised herself. You can't come in here disguise yourself. No. I can bring out the fire. And the Lord said unto Ahijah, 
Behold, yes, the wife of Jehovah, yes, come to ask a thing of thee. Read out for her son. Read out when he is sick. Read out. Thus and thus shall thou say unto her. Read out. For it shall be when thou cometh. When she cometh. When she cometh. Is that she shall fringe herself. She shall to be her. another woman. To be another woman. But you can't, you can't hide from God. That's it. This shit. The eyes of the Lord is in every place. Read out. Read out. Read out. Read a hydra. And heard the sound of her feet. Read out. As she came in the door. Read out. And he said, Come in, thou wife of Job. His sight were gone now. Glory to God. But Come sight in. don't stop God from working. Come on Come in here. He said, he said, Come in, thou wife of Job. Read out. Why praise thyself? Why you famous yourself? To, to be another. To be another. For I am sent to you. My God, be perhaps of you can't hide from God. I can prove it. Get me her uh, second case, chapter chapter uh, six and verse eight. Let me bring this thing up. They were warring. Came up a Sarah and said, "I want you to go spy." You can't spy. In the days when you were here in the flesh, they said out spy. They said out men and feed themselves to be just men. But let me tell you, God know all men and he know what's in men. Oh, yes. Read on! Second Kings 6, chapter verse 8. And verse 8. Then the king of Syria war against Israel. Why is always somebody going to fight against you? War against Israel. And took counsel with his servants, saying, Saying, In such, in in su such a place, and such a place, shall be my camp. Shall be my camp. And the man of God said unto the king of Israel, saying, I, God, that's why the devil hate God, man. They don't want no man of God around. My God, because he has connection and power with oh, God. Yes. Read on! And the man of God said unto the king of Israel, saying, Say, beware. Beware. That thou pass not such a place. Read on! The Assyrians have come down. Read on! And the king of Israel said to the place, Read on! Which the man of God told him, Read on! And warned him, Yes. And saved himself there. You can save yourself obeying God, man. I'm telling all of you out there in Raider Land, if you humble yourself, you can save yourself obeying God, man. Amen. The king of Israel, uh, he obey and take the warning from Elisha, That's it. from God, man. Read up. And the king of Israel said to the place, the people, which the men of God get to the place now that's so lifted up, I'm just a man like you. But God's going to let you, because he's going to prove it to you. Oh, yes. Read on. I warn him up. I warn him up. He saved himself there. Read on. Not once nor twice. Not once nor twice. Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was mm. so troubled. Troubled. For those things. Yes. And he called his servant and said unto them. Said unto them. Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? Show me which one of you spied with the king of Israel. And one of the servants said, None, my lord. My lord, none of us. We okay. are we are on your side. Glory to God. We're not spying with the king of Israel. Okay. Read on. Oh king, but Elijah. There is a man of God. Elijah. Elijah. The prophet that is in Israel. There is a man, a prophet up there. Yes. Read on. Tell it the king of Israel the words that in thy bed chamber. Even what you did in your bed chamber. Yeah, yeah. And spirit of the Lord to get yeah, yeah. Read on. And he said, go. Go. And spy where he is. <laughs> God, people ain't just start spying. Go spy on him yeah, where yeah. he is. And I may send and fetch him. And fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Yes. Read on. And Dothan. Dothan. Therefore, saying, he there are the horses and chariots. Read on. And the great horse. I, I don't care how great the house it is. God is greater than all. I don't care how big your multitude is. Yeah. God is above all. Yeah. Read on. Therefore, saying, he there the horses and chariots. I don't care who you say. They horses are more with us. Yes. Yeah. Horses and chariots. Great host. Read on. And then came by night. Yes. And the past the city about. Read on. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early. My God, the servant go 
and risen early and gone forth. Gone forth. Oh, and holds come back to city folk. Everything come past the city. Oh, with horses and chariots. Horses and chariots. And servants said unto him. Said unto him. Alas, my master. I, God, my master, we're in trouble. How shall we do? I don't know what we're going to do. And yet, yes. king of the city, I don't have us surrounded. We're in trouble. Please. How shall we do? And he answered, fear not. My God, what a blessing to have a man of God. Yes. Faith in God. Yes. Yes. Fear not. And he answered, fear not. Don't yes. look at the condition. Yes. Fear not. But they that be with us. Glory to God. They, I want creation to know. They that be with us are more than they. And what? More than they. Are more than they. That be with them. That be with them. And you know, I just prayed and said, you know, sometimes people's eyes got to be open. My God, my God. Everybody not walking by faith. That's it. This year. Some people look walking by sight. That's right. So Elijah know his servant were looking at the condition. So Elijah, Elijah prayed and said, and said, Lord, I pray thee. Lord, I pray thee. I pray thee. Open his eye. You know, sometimes your eyes got to be open. And then we will blind you. Oh, yes. Open his eye. That he may see. That he may see. That he may see. And the Lord open it, the, open the eyes of the young man. God opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw. Sometimes people's eyes need to be opened. Read it on. Behold, the mountain was full of horses. Full of horses. And chariot of fire. A fire. Round the body, Elijah. Round the body. God round the body. That's what Hezekiah said. There be more with us than with them. Hallelujah. With them is our arm of flesh, but yes. with us. People look at me, what we're going to do? That's what the minister Joe was saying. Minister Joe said, this is, how are we going to do? I don't know how we're going to. I said, hold it. Go get me. My God, where he seemed to fix the thing is cream on his head. My God, you were making all kind of plans. But read on. When they came down to him, my Elijah prayed unto the Lord. Elijah, a man, have power with God. Saints, you have some time you can't be in there. You can't be spiritually asleep. But your eyes got one place. Jesus touch a man. He was blind. And then he touched his eye and said, Can you see? Touch his sight. He touched his sight now. He was blind. And he touched his sight. He said, Can you see? He said, Yes. I see men like tree. He know he never create no man like you. He said, I had to touch him again. I got that. He touched him. Sometimes people need a second touch. So when he touches him again, he said, oh, yes. I see them just like they are. I see them walking around. You know, sometimes your understanding got to be open. That's why they couldn't, uh, they couldn't touch God apostle because he himself Open the understanding. So you better get me in the book of Luke, chapter 24, 44. He opened it and when you understand it, open, yeah. you say it's not a matter. My God, Peter, understanding was open. After Paul fought in a while, and after Paul got in it, and when his understanding open, he says it's not a matter. My God, what a blessing. That's why I'm saying the same thing that they say is not another. It's a blessing when you're understanding open. I don't care where I go. I'm not looking for nothing else. Read on. He said unto them, these are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you. Yes, and all things must be fulfilled. Read on. It's written in the law of Moses. Of Moses. And in the prophet. Read on. And it's something concerning me. Concerning me. I hope he don't understand. That's what the, if you understand it truly and really open by God, you will never find one thing that I'm preaching. It'll be when you understand it open, we got to speak as same Hallelujah to them. When you understand it open, you're going to see just like Isaiah saw it. Isaiah said, in Isaiah 52 and 7, this way you understand. 
to get in the spirit and come and walk for you ain't gonna put nothing I God, you can fight, you can knock somebody out, you can beat them up, but after you get back to yourself, you can still deal with this fellow here. Suffering in me, I God has still got to come on back and deal with this fellow. Otherwise, I got to put it on now. Praise you God. just got to put it on now, sis. Yeah. You yeah. just got to put it on down. Yeah. I don't care what it is. You got to put it on now. Yeah. And you know God gave us the power to do it? Yeah. You better get me a Luke chapter 1070. Yeah. You can put it on down. I don't go and oh, yes. state my cause to everybody. This oh, one did it. This one did it. He did me this. He did me this. He did it. Then I have to turn around and wrestle. Yeah. I got to pull that thing down. Something in me as is in my flesh. Well, it no good thing. Oh, when I would do good, he was present with me. I find that another law warring in my memory. He want to bring me back into captivity. So how I can do it? Walk in the spirit. I got I got to pull this thing down. I got to pull it down. It coming at me, but I got to pull it on down. Because the weapon of a warfare are not caught up to the mighty true God. My God, Lord, I need you to help me so I can pull this thing down, Lord. It's coming at me, Lord. When I go to bed at night, my God, this thing right there with me. I got to resist the devil. I got to put up a fight. He will flee from me. This thing coming at me, but I got to pull it on down. I know you tell me in Luke chapter 10, 17. And the seven returned again with great with joy. With joy. Saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. Lord! The devils are subject We got unto him subdued. Yes, Lord. Lord, we got him down. Yes. My God is not somebody you can knock down. And you knock him up and he stay down. But even with Jesus. Ready to Jesus up. To be went up by the spirit to be tempted up to death. Amen. The devil came on him. My God, I know you got to make you be the son of man. Come on, the stone yes. to be made bread. My God, I know all the mighty work. My God, he put Bible on the devil. Oh, yeah. Man, it's, it's written. You got to know how to put, keep the word on the devil. When the enemy comes in like a flood, then you need the spirit of the Lord to lift up a standard. My God, thou shalt not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the fall. Then here come the enemy. He don't come on back to him again. Took him up and high. Oh, yes. My God, exceeding high mountain. Exceeding high mountain. High mountain, Luke and St. Matthew 4. And, read up. and again, the devil take him up into a exceeding high mountain. Some people say the devil can't do all yes. He has something to show you there. I'm going to come at you with something. Read up. High that, that's why I'm afraid that I see people don't pray. Just going around and so careless and don't pray. That's why it's a man ought always to pray and not to fear. He had to pray. Oh, yeah, one place he pray all night. He pray. If you don't pray, my God, the devil coming at you. Sometimes I see people joking and going on. My God, I just praise the Lord and keep on going. Read on. Again, the devil take him up until he's seen the high mountain. High mountain? Show him all the kingdom of the world and the glory You don't think the devil got something to show you? Yes, he does. Read on. And said unto him, Yes. All these things will I give you. Come with me. Oh, yes. The Lord to God. All these things. Well, you know what? All the, who the God of this world have blinded the mind. 
All these things. That will I give thee. If will I give thee. If thou will fall down to worship me. You see, the devil wanted to take, he wanted you to give up that treasure. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. But we have this treasure. Yes. We're walking around in earth and vessel. But we have a treasure. Yes. In earth and vessel. The excellency of the power. Excellency of the power. Maybe of God. Maybe of God. You're going to let somebody talk about you and let you give it up? No. You're going to lose your treasure because somebody don't like you, somebody look at you funny, somebody talking against you? You're going to let that cause you to lose your treasure? My God in earth and yes. Read on! And said unto him, Yes. All these things will I give you. We're going to give you something to give it up. If thou will fall down and worship me. Just, I want you to give up what you got. You got the hope of eternal life. But I don't have it. You see, he give you a way back. God give men a way back. Amen. That's what Peter said. He has begotten us again to a lively hope. Resurrection of Jesus Christ. So he give us a week walking around here with a lively hope. But he didn't give the devil a way back. You know what he got for him? He got hell. The devil that to see them were cast into the lake. Fire and brimstone. He know where he going. No, he don't want to go alone. He want to take as many. The devil, well, sometimes people get in trouble. They want to put everybody down with them. But he said, resist the devil. Don't let him take you down. The peace and the far spot where all of them going. Read on. Yes. And all these things I give thee. Read on. Thou will fall down and worship me. Read on. Then said Jesus unto him. Yes. Give thee hence, Satan. And God devil show him all the kingdom of the world. Yes. And all the glory. I remember when somebody were with us right here in that quarters. He then he done, he said, Oh, I think I was elder then. He said, El, pray for me. I'm trying to come back. But I'm out here singing for the mayor. I'm singing for the governor. I sing so beautiful, they call me, they call me strawberry. I said, strawberry? I don't want nobody call me no strawberry. That's nothing to glory in. I said, hey, nothing to glory in. He called me and tell me. I said, I ain't nothing to glory in. I said, come on. He said, I said, the devil should give you all singing for the mayor, the governor, and all these people, and everybody. He said, I said, man, let me tell you. But you see, you give up the hope of eternal life. Any man offer you and you bow down and lose out. Your inheritance, incorruptible, reserved in heaven for us. The devil have something to pull you away from God. Don't think the devil won't, won't offer you something for you to give up this lively hope. Lively. I don't know if he's, if he's dead or alive. I ain't hear nothing from him. He said, I'm trying. I said, I'm praying for you to come back. Way back from Bishop Goodwin. I ain't hear nothing no more from him. Singing with the government and all the politicians. My God, but they, you know what he said? There is a way that seems right. It look right, it seem right, but the end there, you got to look at the end. Oh, yeah. Devil don't show you. He don't show you when you're doing it. He just make it look so right. But you got to look down the road yes. and yes. see the end. Yes. My God, you got to look. Why you think Moses by faith chose and run? My God, he grows a level. Verse 24. Yeah. Yeah. He esteemed the reward of God. Greater riches and the treasure. Now you're going to let the enemy give you a little uh, popularity, a little money, and try to pull you away from this? Greater riches. By faith. By faith. When he was come to you, he called the son of Pharaoh. The son of Pharaoh. Son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choose a man and self affliction with the people of God. You got to make a choice. Who are you going to follow? Who are you going to follow? 
You know what? You know what? Joshua said, if God be God, again, that's what Elijah said, if God be God, then go follow it. But if Ben, if God be God, serve him. But if Ben, how long are you going to hide between two opinions? You got to serve two. You got to serve one. And Joshua told them, as for me and my house, what you going to do, Joshua? We're going to serve the Lord. You can't be around here hidden between the world and serving God. He said, you know why? Because he's telling you so plain. What did he say here? Yeah. Chosen, Chosen rather to suffer affliction. Bring up with the people of God and enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. It's just for a season. You're going to leave it. Say the man say we're going to leave it to the man coming behind. Who knows whether it's going to be a wise man or a fool. He's going to have rule over all that you labor for. Bring up. You are choosing rather to suffer affliction. To suffer affliction. Let the people of God and to enjoy the pleasure of sin for sin. Don't let sin take you down. Said, to lose that inheritance. Praise God. Reserved in heaven for us that are kept by the power of God. This is just for a season. But we the saints of God. He regarded us again. What kind of hope? Alive. You know, we the people of God, we got a lively hope. We, the church, we're not walking around here hopeless. We got a lively hope. Yeah. Hi, God, that's why we're so happy. That's why even in your trouble, you still can grow in tribulation. Yeah. Why? Because I got a lively hope. Yeah. I know that weeping got a deeper and night. But I believe and I'm looking at morning is coming. You know the church got a lively hope, saints. We got a lively hope. You don't believe it? We got a lively hope. The church got a lively hope. He has begotten us again. We don't have a dead hope. Like people walking out there and walking around. No hope. We're not hopeless. But we, the people of God, we got a lively hope in Jesus Christ. We in the church got a lively hope. My God, that's why you think Job said, I know that my Redeemer did. My God, even though I'm going on, keep for me here. I'm going to sing for myself. And not another. Saints, don't lose your hope. We, the church, the people of God, I go around, it's not a not. I don't look for nothing else. They're begging me to come to India. Say, oh, uh, uh, a thousand of them over there waiting. Uh, Kenya and all these other places crying out because them how poor several of right work. I'm, I'm staggering at the promise of God. I know it's not a not. You can be sure about the salvation. You don't have to go around here. That's why I don't run and line up with everything. My God, you can stand flat fully and say it's not enough. Don't run behind everything. Don't lose your hope. We got to lie. You better get the first speed of one and the third first. Let's say God and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Read up. Which according to his abundant mercy. Thank God for his abundant mercy. As we God That's again. why we rejoice for his mercy. Yes. I thank God. You know, I go to bed thanking him for his abundant yes. mercy. Abundant mercy. Say, which in time past were not a people. Yes. But are now the people of God. I don't have nothing to glory in my flesh about. I give God all the praise and all the glory. I'm calling yeah, for his abundant mercy. As we got us again, I'm yeah. lively hope. Lord, I thank you. Yeah. For what? Unto a lively hope. You know I'm walking around with a lively hope. Yeah, you know you're walking around with a lively hope. Change coming from Gloucester, North Park, Florida, and from Cleveland, Ohio. My God, man, California, 
I walking around. And you can sing that song, when you see me coming, I got him on my mind. All right. Who you got? I got Jesus on my mind. When you see me shouting, I got him on my mind. I got a one creation to know. I got a lively hope. I got a lively hope. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Got a hopeless. My God, Bishop Reed can sit back and tell himself it's not another. I can't get up and change it and say, I'm not sure. You know, even the GPS, your program, when that GPS, it lost its so bad and programmed the day. And it said, turn right, turn left, and turn again. And I'm turning, I'm just comfortable following it. Then all of a sudden, he said, you have, you have reached your destiny. It's a dumpster. It's a dumpster. <laughs> and it's a dead end. We're garbage dump God. I said, oh my God. Reach me. I have to back up. I have to turn around. I said, it's a lost We are in Staten Island. Oh, you know, it takes me to the after kill dump. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord. <laughs> I turned off the GPS. I started asking, sir, can you tell me how to get back to the DQ? Okay. Where you going? I'm going up to the ground. Oh, you way out there. You're lost. You're in Staten Island. Get out the kill dump. <laughs> But you see, you know God's way is sure. Oh yes. God man can come up with something else and get the law. You can't follow everything. Yeah. It messed you up. I just said the leader of these people passed you the hell. They that I left them are destroyed. That GPS messed me up so hard I said again. How in the world I end up in Staten Island at the heart of kill? The, the, the dump yard, where the dump garbage. Now we're in trouble for sure. Now we're in trouble. I have to fear my way out. That's how it is when you follow somebody not sure. Read on. Let it be God the Father and Father. And read on. Jesus Christ, read on. According to his burning mercy, let it be God once again. Say this. I'm going to have to praise God for yeah. his abundant mercy. Mercy. Have begotten us again unto a lively hope. You know the church got a lively hope, saints. You know we the saints of God, we got a lively hope. We're not hopeless. We got a lively hope. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. My God, he takes death for us. Read up from the dead. Read up. We inherit an incorruptible undefiled. We got an inheritance. Un incorruptible. Read up. Undefiled. Undefiled. It faded not away. It will fade away. Reserved in heaven for you. My God, look what we have. Reserved yeah. where? In heaven for you. Reserved yeah. in heaven for you. The devil don't have that. He got the lake waiting for oh, yes. But we the saints of God. We got what you say, God? Eyes have not seen it, ears have not heard it, neither have it entered into the heart of man with the law reserved. Saints, I'm telling you. I don't not want to tell dream, but I will oversee me and my son. And I was so tired of preach was about two o'clock in the morning. And she went in the bed to sleep, and I was so tired. I sit up and I said, Lord, I can't sleep. Got on my knees, prayer, and I was so tired. Thank God, let me rest. We got to go the next day. And then I lay in the bed, saying I was so weak. And when I lay in the bed, I feel so weak, like I didn't have no more strength. And I lay down, talk to God, pray. And I'm here, I'm, I went off, like in a chance, it got a beautiful life between sleep and wake, beautiful dream. And while I was there, I saw so many people. 
And I was going up to this huge door. Like it was so high from the top, I couldn't see up to the top. Going all the way up to the bottom. And then I, I was, so many people I reached the door and all the people were lined up behind me, so many people. I said, how in the world are we gonna get in there? When I look at the top, I saw the Lord. I saw Jesus, he was the door. From the top to the bottom, I speak the truth in Christ and life. I wouldn't stand in this pulpit lying to you. And when I look up, Hallelujah. I saw he opened. The door opened. And when it opened, he said, come on in. And I stood there and said, for out there clapping and drunk. He said, come on in. And when I looked, the place was so lit up. Hallelujah. It was full of light. And I looked, and I looked at the street. It was pure gold. Yeah. It was a street of saints that mean that as I spoke a lie to you, we don't want to walk away. I speak, I, I see pure gold. Yes, and I stood there and looked at it. Yes. And I see the Lord. He said, Come. Thank you, Lord. Come in. Walk on it. He said, Walk on it. You don't suffer for it. You don't labor for it. Come in and walk in it. Hallelujah. I see the truth in Christ and I step <coughs> and I start to walk. The street of pure gold lit up My all God, night. Night. His glory lit up the place. And then I, I said, I break down and start crying. I said, after all the suffering, after all the pain, after all the heartache, we finally made it. We're fine. And I start crying and wake up. I touch my wife, she can tell you. I say, oh, hey, get up. Get up. I say, I just walked down the street up here. Yeah. Yeah. God, Lord, to give me consolation. Say, that's what we have such great cloud of witness. You think I'm going to lose this for anybody? Ain't nobody worth you losing your soul for. Do I inherit that? Incorruptible. And nobody showed me. And I'm laboring. If I gotta suffer, if I gotta die, I'm willing to die. But I know this is real things. Amen. A street of pure gold. Amen. It reserved in heaven for you. In heaven for you. It's for you. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. Let you get upset and throw up your hands and give up. Ain't nothing worth you losing your inheritance. Why? We have this treasure in earthen vessel. Earth is walking around here. The excellence of the power may be of God. It's not of us. We are trouble and everything. You're going to be so glad when you make it. When you make it. The thing is really sad. It's cheap. I swear to good love. It's pure gold. Just glistening gold. I fell. I stand up. I said, Lord, with me. After all the trouble. After all the pain. After all the hardship. After all the suffering. I made it. You got to make this journey. No matter how long it takes. You got to suffer. You got to go through something. Amen. See that we love one another. Amen. I see that little son I go over there last night sitting down after the service and he can't think just a carefully because suddenly one has his hand in the ear. <laughs> he, yeah, that little one. I don't know how old is he? Seven. Huh? Seven. I thought he was ten. <laughs> I was sitting right there last night and he came over there and he hugged me. I was tired now, waiting to talk to some others, and he came and he hugged me. He said, Bishop, you know I love you. Oh. I said, I love you too, son. He said, why are you coming to Ohio? He said, he said, I'm going back, but I miss you. Are you coming to see us? 
He said, you're going to come to Ohio to see us. Seven years old. I thought you were 10. And he hugged me and talked to me. He said, are you coming up to see us, Bishop? We miss you. We're leaving now. And we're going back. But we miss you. We want you all to come see us. I said, I thought about that thing I'm praying this morning. I said, that's for his word. I got to go see that. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say that you love him and I'm with a pure heart. God put it in his heart. Say, stand each and every one of you. Let's walk together. Remember, remember there's that inheritance. Incorruptible. Amen. Do what? Undefiled. Undefiled. And fade it not away. Fade it not away. Reserved in heaven for you. Hallelujah. Where is the servant? Reserved in Say, heaven. Say, every pain you go through, think about the suffering. Amen. Every test you go through, yes. think about what God has reserved for you. Amen. Think about what God, every test you go through, Mother Jack, it's going to be all right. I heard you were going through your affliction. But my Liz, my Ellen, my Godmother Wanda, many are the affliction of the righteous mother Alma. But he said, out of them all. I, I, I enjoy the testing and my but I didn't say, where is my stick? Where is my stick? I don't know what happened to my stick. She get up walking and said, she always leaning over on her stick. God didn't give up victory without the stick. Amen. That's the God we serve. Come in here and pray, God. Thank God for you, my darling. But you've been on this battlefield a long time. You was a whole soldier. Come in here and praise God. And encouraging you say, give God what's due to him. Columbia, all of you. Get up. Give God sin a song. God, you know, God wants us to praise Him. Yeah. Sometimes I look, man, I look at a lot of things. Sometimes when it's just a few, they sit down. But when the crowd come here, <laughs> but you got to give Him with a few and without the crowd. Always have a praise of God. My praise him. What is song you sing Friday night? When it's a gay bird? You forget it? Uh, I know you sing that song. Sir, I don't know. He's a real sing that song. Sir, <laughs> Search me long. Yeah. Search me. Yeah. Search me long. You gotta sing. You gotta you, you praise God. Yeah. You know what God wants us to do? Yeah. Don't wait for the crowd to praise God. Yeah. Praise him when he's just a few of you in your own location. God wants us to praise him. He said in Romans 15 and 9, let me sit down. That is Shanta. Yes. I'm going to come in here. Amen. My brother Nada, praise God for his mercy. You know you got something to praise God for. Yeah. All day long, we got something. Sometimes I might despise you for praising God. Sometimes I see Sister King just jumping. Oh, it should be. What are you doing? I'm praising God in a dance. I'm leaking in a dance. My God, that the Gentiles. And that the Gentiles might glorify God. What are you glorifying God for? For his mercy. What am I glorifying God for? Otherwise, Barry, he did not have to save me. I ain't going to come in here and act like this something from my mother, my father inherited I stayed in the house. But God be God on us again. So I'm thanking God for what? For his mercy. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Come in here, saints, and that, you know God want us to thank him for, for his mercy. Yes. You know God, you know every one of us owe God a praise. Every one of us in here, we all God our praise. Some of you could have been dead and gone, but God in his mercy, he was there all the time. So I'm going to give him what due to him. David said, let everything that I pray, praise the name of the Lord. Somebody may not like to praise him God. Somebody may despise your shouting. Saul, God, and you go and sit day 
keeping leaping and dancing. And you see the skies, David. But David keep on. My God, as the ark going on, as the ark of God. Come in here and praise God. What are you praising God for? What are you up here so happy? What are you glorifying God for?